Hello, and thank you for joining me for another review of another product for Peplink. My name is Peter West with West Networks, and today we're going to talk about the new AP1AX from Peplink. Now, I have been waiting for this device for a long time, um, and I am excited to see that it is now here. This is the AP1AX. I'm going to pull it out of the, the bag here. One thing I'm going to say is it does come with a little sticker with um, some serial numbers. So if you need to place them on a, a wall port or on the surface or the side of it, so that you have easier access to the serial number, you can. Um, so it has a, a key lock uh, to be able to lock it in place. Um, it's about, I don't know, I mean, it has the dimensions on the spec sheet, but looks about six inches by six inches. Um, it looks like it's gonna be fairly easy to surface mount because your your pins right there so we just mount this to the roof and i mean there's the roof and there's the the router so it's gonna be nice and flat i know there's a lot of complaints with the ap1 enterprise because of the plastic mounting bracket kind of brought it down just a little bit um, on the side of it we have our 2.5 gigabit poe input and then our 12 volt dc input as an alternative power source in the box it comes with the router, a mounting bracket for uh, drop ceilings, it mounts to that little metal frame, and it also comes with the screws and little um, you know little plastic things. Um, <laughs> sorry, it's five o'clock. Um, so you can mount this to the wall. You can mount this to the ceiling. Um, or you can mount it to uh, ceiling tiles using the ceiling tile attachment. If you compare this to an AP1 Enterprise, so just for size comparisons for everybody, uh, here's an AP1 Enterprise and here's the new AP1 AX. So you can kind of see the, the size comparison there. Um, this thing is heavy, by the way. Um, all plastic. This is uh, like a heavier plastic and then it has this metal heat sink back um so i'm pretty excited about that so now we're gonna do some speed tests and look at it one thing i did notice when i brought up my sample unit was that it's running 3.8 firmware um, the ap1 enterprise runs 3.6.1 and the new ac devices run uh, 3.7 so this is running 3.8 firmware so i'm assuming we're going to see a new hardware line with the ax firmware moving forward with the 3.8 so I just ran a speed test of my old uh, AP1 AC Mini. Um, this is just sitting right at my desk with the AC Mini uh, over in the other room. Uh, and I received 140 megabits per second. So what I'm going to do is install an AP. and that I'm going to take the AC Mini down, install the AP uh, AX, and just run another speed test and see what the comparison is. Once again, no tuning. It's not about the maximum throughput. It's just a comparison of the AP1 AC Mini, which and then versus the new um, AP uh, AP1 AX. So that's all I'm comparing here. Okay, so here is my uh, new speed with the AP1 AX, and you'll see that it's significantly faster, about 200 megabits per second faster. So I'm very happy to see those results there. I'm um, getting 340 megabits per second versus 140 megabits per second on the um, AP1 AC. I am really excited about the overall performance of uh, this new AP, and I'm excited that it is so competitively priced as well. So we're getting, not only are we getting an AX Wi-Fi 6 device with 4x4 MIMO, we're also getting the power of the in-control and Peplink ecosystem. So now VLAN management, VLAN tagging, the ability to see all the devices on in-control and use our in-control based features, takes that SD-WAN infrastructure, brings it into our our network with you know latest generation Wi-Fi 6 technology. So you know an AP by itself is an AP, but when you add the AP with the Peplink ecosystem, you're really looking at a complete networking solution that I'm very excited to play with. I will take three of these home and replace my AP1 enterprises at home with these and hopefully report back with some better usage. I also uh, did run this for the entire day. So this is actually video was an entire day video. So we uh, updated the, the router this morning, did the, the install, and then ran the entire day. 
Um, and then this afternoon, I'm now joining you back here to, to give my, my final thoughts. So it was really neat to see that I was creating a video, swapped out an AP, and so many people complimented how much better the wireless network was. And the network was really good before. It just, you know, double the throughput <laughs> made it much better, you know, much more uh, usable for, for, for all the new devices. So I'm really excited to see this. So another thing that I meant, forgot to mention in my earlier review is that the old AP1s um, supported about 60 devices per um, AP. These new devices support these new devices support 256 users. So you're talking 256 recommended concurrent users per radio, 16 SSIDs per radio. It's running 4x4 MU MIMO. So we have a one 2.4 gigahertz standard and one 5 gigahertz uh, antenna. And it, we're running a 2.5 multi gigabit ethernet adapter. So, you know, it's, it's built for scalability, it's built for growth, and it's built to handle much more uh, traffic than the older APs. So I'm super excited about it and I can't wait to play with it.